All right, so let's take a look at the number number five on the AB exam from Cal AP Calculus for 2023. As usual, I don't have the solutions available, so I am just going with what my answers and how I would work them out. If I make any mistakes or if there are any corrections, I will put it in a pinned comment. All right, functions f and g are twice differentiable. The table shows the given values of the functions of the first derivative selected values of x. Let h be the function defined by that. Find h prime of seven and show the work that leads to your answer. So h prime of x, we're just going to do derivative notation. We're going to do derivative of the outer function, f prime of g of x, leave the inside alone. And then by chain rule, we do g prime of x. So then we're just going to plug in 7 now. That's going to be f prime of g of 7 times g prime of 7. OK, that's f prime of what is g of 7? Seven? 7, here's g, that's 0. What is g prime at 7? g prime is 8. Now what is f prime at 0? That's 3 halves. So 3 halves times 8. Oops. 3 halves times 8, and that's going to be 12. Okay. Let k be the differentiable function like this. Is the graph k concave up or concave down where x equals 4? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so this one's a little bit weirder, but basically I want to know the second derivative of this. So I got to take the derivative of this thing. And if the second derivative is positive or negative, that tells us concave up or down. So here I got to do product rule. This function, derivative of that function is power rule, 2 times f of x to the first power, and then by chain rule, derivative of f of x is f prime of x times g of x. Now, this part right here is just me doing the derivative of this guy right here, okay? So power rule and then chain rule in there. And then plus, now I switch it. It's going to be f of x squared times the derivative of g, which is g prime of x. And all I want to know is whether or not this... When I plug in 4, is it is it going to be, and I'm just going to write it all out just so I don't make any mistakes, f of 4 squared. I just want to know if this thing is positive or negative. So f of 4 is 4, right there, 4, 4. f prime at 4 is 3. g of 4, uh, negative 3. So that makes that first term negative. f of 4 squared. That's 4 squared, and g prime at 4 is 2. Okay, so I actually have to do the arithmetic because I don't know if this is positive or negative off the top of my head. Um, so this is 8. 8 times negative 9 is going to be negative 72, plus 16 times 2 is plus 32. That's negative 40. That is less than 0. So k at k of x is concave down at x equals 4. So the answer is concave down, because the second derivative is negative. Let m be this function. Find m of 2. So m of 2, you're just literally going to plug in 2 into here. So it's 5 times 2 cubed. Everywhere there's an x. Integral from 0 to 2, f prime of t dt. How do we do this computation? Well, so this is 8 times 5. That's 40. This, you do the antiderivative, right, which is f of t. And then you're going to go from 0 to 2. So that's 40 plus f of 2 minus f of 0. 40 plus f of 2. f of 2 is 7. f of 0 is 10. Right? So that's 40 minus 3. 40 minus 3 is 37. Okay. Is the function m defined increasing, decreasing, or neither at x equals 2? So increasing or decreasing means the derivative is positive or negative. So what is the derivative? Derivative of 5x cubed is going to be 15x squared. And then what's the derivative here? You would plug in x into this, so you get f prime of x, because it's f prime there. So that's what the derivative of that is. So then m prime at 2 is going to be 15 times 2 squared plus f prime at 2 f prime at 2 is negative 8. So this is going to be 4 times 6, 15. That's 60 minus 8. That's equal to uh, 52. That's greater than 0. So it is increasing. Okay. And I think that looks right.